here remember we're at two thousand five hundred twenty two dollars and thirty five cents we're gonna go over here to dividend tools we're gonna say update portfolio holdings and then we're gonna see this start incrementing and we're gonna see how much and difference we uh, got so it's really exciting so hopefully you guys enjoy this when I uh, make that tutorial so we were at two thousand five hundred and twenty two dollars I believe and we'll see how much this new investment that I added this past week how much it increased so we ended up going with two thousand five hundred forty one dollars and thirty five cents so we increased about twenty dollars or so you know so that's really awesome what's up everybody this is investing sensei here to bring you week 56 of the portfolio update so i have the agenda here pulled up first thing we're going to go over is the activity so this is what i bought sold any dividends that came in and then we're going to jump over to the google sheets i'm going to show you guys this new dividend script that i finally finished it's actually grabbing the holdings from the portfolio and showing us our projected annual income so i'll show you guys a little bit about that and then we're gonna stay on the google sheets and then kick off the upcoming script so we can see what dividends are coming up these coming months and then uh, from there we're gonna wrap up the video with uh, how the portfolio did this past week especially with the uh, elections uh, finally wrapping up so uh let's go ahead and get started all right guys so we're at the activities i have it to start from filtering out from november 2nd 2020 and if we look at the very bottom on the second AT&T paid us a massive dividend of $127.64. That same exact day, JP Morgan paid us $11.84. JP Morgan, for some reason, was supposed to pay out in October. For some reason, we get got the dividend a little later. But, oh well. Uh, we reinvested that this week, so it's going to start working for us. And that same exact day, Verizon paid us $26.39, which is amazing because I think this is the most and dividends that we've made in a week so far so we're hopefully gonna continue you know breaking those you know new records we almost made like what 160 something dollars or so this week passively so this is amazing on that same exact day I actually deposited five hundred and fifty dollars so that we could uh, continue buying more stocks and then I reinvested that so we bought five hundred and fifty two dollars and ninety one cents and we bought some Abvi. So one of the things that I do want to show you guys, or I guess for you guys to pay attention on this, is we've been buying these. So like Abvi, we bought 1.72 shares. Um, and if I actually open this up again, we bought Apple, $152. Johnson & Johnson, $150. Visa, $100. So these fractional shares end up adding up over time. And what, you know, and the following thing that I'm gonna show you guys the script, this is really awesome because we're going to see that projection of how, you know, these $550 that we invested this week, how they're going to affect us for the following year on how much in dividends we're going to be making, which is really awesome. I think it's really exciting to have that. But on the third, guys, we did end up reinvesting the dividends of from AT&T, JP Morgan and Verizon. So that was $165. We bought some more Visa, guys. And I'm trying to buy more Visa, I believe, in Visa long term. And then on the fifth, I did deposit $200. So we did do two buys and we bought some Johnson & Johnson and then some more Visa, guys. So, uh, you know, this actually wraps up the activities. I'm going to show you guys. Well, I'm going to jump over to the Google Sheets so that we can see that new dividend script feature. All right, guys, so we're at the Google Sheets and you'll see this is actually finally populated so projected annual income so we are at two thousand five hundred and twenty two dollars and thirty five cents what this means is that we are currently on november 8th 2020 what this means is that if i was to wait one full year that's what i would expect to have with my current holdings in my uh portfolio right so we are we would make all the way you know on november 8th 2021 we would expect to collect this amount of dividends. So that's pretty sweet, right? But, you know, we also deposited money this past week. So, you know, it obviously increased our projected annual income. And so we finally have that working. So I have the script. I had to rewrite it because the way that the authentication worked, somehow the, you know, the site itself blocked me. Then I tried it again with some other method and then they blocked me. So that's what it, why it's been very slow. But this new method, there is some you know process where it's like a manual process that you have to do i really wanted it to be where you just click a button it sends you a text message to your phone obviously i wasn't able to get that fully working well i got it working but you know 
the site itself detected that it, it, my script was a bot so you know it basically blocked it and so I wouldn't be able to share that with you guys because it's not gonna be something that's very reliable and I think this new process is gonna be reliable it's just gonna take a little bit of manual work but it's you know a couple clicks of a button so hopefully you guys will enjoy it when I uh, create the tutorial but uh, let me show you guys how this works so if we go over here you'll see that we have a settings so on the settings if we go over here you'll see portfolio holdings these are the values and so I created another script that goes and collects this from the site itself and grabs your positions it's actually really cool I was learning about it these past weeks and that's how I ended up creating it but uh, then we have another one that's called dividend suspended holdings so these are the companies that have uh, cut dividends well suspended dividends and uh, that way that's not included in my projected annual income until they finally start paying it out but if we go over here to holdings you'll see this one as well you'll see that this also gets populated as well so one of the things real quick let me go to the site and I'll be back I'm gonna copy the I'm gonna run the script so that I can collect my holdings I'm gonna go over here to settings and then I'm gonna actually delete this part here and let me I'll be back real quick all right guys so I'm going to paste this so this is the latest portfolio update from you know this past week on all the amount of money that I invested and so if we go over here to uh, projector remember we're at two thousand five hundred twenty two dollars and thirty five cents we're gonna go over here to dividend tools we're gonna say update portfolio holdings and then we're gonna see this start incrementing and we're gonna see how much indifference we uh, got so it's really exciting so hopefully you guys enjoy this when I uh, make that tutorial so we were at two thousand five hundred and twenty two dollars I believe and we'll see how much this new investment that I added this past week how much it increased so we ended up going with two thousand five hundred forty one dollars and thirty five cents so we increased about twenty dollars or so you know so that's really awesome with uh, the amount that I invested and you know I invested in companies that are some of them have like well like Visa they have a really low dividend yield but over the years they're gonna increase that dividend payout massively so you know it's gonna pay off long term right now we won't see that much of a difference we're gonna get about $20 now from this previous investment but uh, yeah guys hopefully you guys thought this was really cool and uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think about it and then uh, yeah let me uh, let me jump over to the dividend payout so we can see what companies are coming up with uh, declared dividends so if we go over here, go to the bottom, uh, you'll see that we are getting some upcoming dividends here. So we're gonna get Apple and Costco, Abby, Realty Income, which is really exciting. But uh, if we go here to dividend tools, get upcoming dividends, and hopefully this runs because I was modifying some of the script. I'm gonna try to create version three for it because I am working at as, on that as well. But uh, all right, it looks like it's running. If you guys are interested in this script I do have a tutorial on it be sure to check it out I'll add a pop up on the top right there's version 1 and version 2 you'll have to run version 1 first and then version 2 afterwards and then when I release version 3 then you guys will update to version 3 but uh, last time from the update Arbor Realty Trust for some reason wasn't picking it up because the information was probably not there and so now we see that it was a 3.23 percent increase and uh, yeah guys it's really exciting we still have let's see November 8th we have all these companies that we could still meet the X dividend date for so this is really awesome but yeah guys let's go ahead and wrap up this video to see how the portfolio did this week all right guys so we're at the portfolio we are at one hundred and thirty two thousand five hundred forty two dollars and sixty one cents our cash balance right now is zero and if we go over here to the value over time for the one month and we find last week on our update, we were at $121,972.24. And then just for some reason, you know, the market just continued going up and our portfolio continued going up as well. And we ended up with uh, $132,542.61, which is a positive return of $10,570.37 which is amazing guys you know but overall I would rather it be a red day because we continue to average down our cost basis but uh, yeah guys this actually wraps up the portfolio update 
let me know what you guys think of the new script are you guys excited for it because i know i'm pretty excited about it so you know it'll be pretty awesome every week seeing how our projected annual income is increasing but uh don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification if you haven't done so already don't forget to support the channel by simply hitting that like button and i'll see you guys in the comment section so take care stay safe out there bye guys